G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews, another not so weekly weekly news for 2019, the annual version. Uh, what's coming up this week? I thought I'd better fill you in because there's lots of things happening here and a lot of things have been driven by emails I've been getting, especially in the, re in the wake of the release of the DJI HD Digital FPV system. And I've done a video on my XJet channel if you haven't seen that, if you're not a subscriber to XJet, you may not be aware that I did. So I put a video up on XJet, now, I didn't put it on this channel because it wasn't a review. I mean, I don't have a DJI digital system to review. So it was a little more subjective and a little more based only on what I'd seen, not first-hand experience. So I didn't think it was stuff I wanted on RC model reviews, but a speculation. However, if you look at the, uh, the, the comments and so forth, you see my speculation seems to have been right on the nail, um, right on the money. There are still um, some who've got the system who are extolling its virtues over and over again and it is, it's a great system but um, some of them are downplaying a little bit the, the, the limitations. Uh, I, suggest, I suggest you're going to have a look at Stinger's Swarm, uh, that's Kevin's YouTube channel, he's got a system, he's done two videos on it now and it's quite, quite objective, he's looked at it and he's not going to be changing over anytime soon but anyway that's go and have a look at that video, link in the description of this one so you can go and have a look if you haven't seen it already. So. What are we going to do this week? Well, in the next seven to ten days, because everything takes longer than you'd hope. I have a, a list here now. I thought with the interest, the resurgence of interest in digital FPV, HD FPV systems, it's about time I compared some. Now, as I, said, I don't have the DJI digital system, hey, they can send me one if they like, and I'm happy to compare it to the rest, and it would probably come out very favourably, because it is quite a bit more recent than some of the systems I'm going to be looking at. Systems I'm going to be reviewing, um, or not reviewing, I'm doing, as I say, comparison. Don't necessarily do a complete review. We'll look at the pros and cons, the strengths, the weaknesses, and why you might want or not want to buy some of this kit. We've got the Connex Pro site. There's the Connex Pro site. There is the FPV Blue package. And there is another system, the Realtek um, DVL1. Now, I'm not quite sure if all of these are still in production. I've had these for a little while, waiting for the opportunity to do a bit of a comparison, which is now. As I say, I won't be comparing to the DJI system, but um, that's coming up. But before I do that comparison, I've decided, well, a lot of people perhaps don't understand what digital FPV is, what HD FPV is, how it works, what's involved, you know, what are the pros and cons. So I'm going to do a, a HD digital FPV video 101, an introduction to the, the concepts. I'll show you how analog works, how digital works, the strengths and weaknesses of, it, of each, and how perhaps in some cases the limitations of each can be mitigated because if you have a really good analog setup which I'll be getting to in a moment you get a pretty good result and that's another video how to set up the best possible analog FPV system now a good analog system is really really good yeah okay FPV will blow you away with all the crispness of detail but there is nothing wrong with a really sharp analog FPV system. Some of the cameras we've got now, 1200 TV lines on, on the camera. How do we get that crispness, that sharpness? Um, and how do we get elimination of static and noise? How do we make a system that's really the best it can be? I'm going to go through all the, the pros and cons, the, the do's and don'ts about producing the best FPV, analog FPV connection you can possibly get with the best cameras, best transmitters, best receivers, best goggles. And hopefully there'll be some information there to let you make some informed choices when you go about. Or if you're upgrading, see what you can upgrade to. Then coming right along we have um, my ideas for digital video because as some of you will know I've been working on a, I call it an SD, Standard Definition Digital FPV Link. Uh, my goal wasn't so much to provide higher sharper resolution because as I say a good analog system can be pretty damn good. My goal was to avoid the situation where you're flying and someone else calls it, I'm turning on now and suddenly all you can see is their boots because they're on the same channel and they didn't check. We had this problem with radio control gear a long time ago in the days of crystals and long wire where you had to make sure that no two people were trying to use the same part of the spectrum at the same time because there would be crashes. And the same is happening still to this day with video. We have a number of channels and if somebody turns on on the same channel as you or even an adjacent channel and they're too close, you can lose your picture. Now, if you're flying uh, a mini quad proximity, boom, there you go, you've crashed your quad because by the time you say, hey, it's too late. Um, so what I wanted to do was create a system that was spread spectrum so that we could get the same convenience that you get with your radio gear. Now you just go and turn on and fly. You don't have to worry. All 
everyone's working on the same part of the spectrum, but because of spread spectrum techniques, we can all coexist without stomping on each other. The same thing can be applied to video, and that's what I was looking at. How do we make this work in the world of video? So I wasn't looking so much at getting a, a sharper, crisper picture or anything, but just making it safer and easier to use. And I, I'm gonna go through some of the steps I went through, some of the uh, research I did, and some of the outcomes, the results that I managed to achieve. And you may find that interesting if from a technical perspective, and, and maybe some manufacturer out there would like to run with that, because um, there are, I come up against some brick walls, but they're not technical brick walls, they are simply the fact that some of the companies I want to deal with won't deal with me because I'm only one guy. I'm not, I don't want to buy millions of units of their integrated circuits um, to make this thing work. They won't even give me the data sheets so I can see how to actually make them work. So. Yeah, you know, that's. I'm not banging my head against that wall, but maybe some manufacturer out there with more clout will say, "Hey, there's a damn good idea. Let's do that. Let's see what happens." And we can all fly far more safely and conveniently with our standard definition video systems. Um, and of course, on my XJet channel coming up, as some people have seen, a little sneak preview. There is the Outlaw 250 build that's on XJet, and uh, I'll be using the Outlaw 250 actually as a platform for testing out some of this FPV gear. I think because it's such a fantastic platform for just throwing FPV gear on, having a fly. So that's what's coming up. Um, in the next week or two, you should learn a lot of stuff. You should learn how this stuff works and learn how to make it work properly. I'm also doing a video showing you how to convert your 4.3 footage into super view type footage, not just stretching it horizontally, um, as I think, uh, who was it, um, Le Drib did with his DJI digital footage, because that still looks slow. But if you want to make it look fast, I'll show you the techniques and the free software that you can use, and I'll even give you a shrink wrapped um, script that I've done, it's called a, um, a node chart that I've done, so that you can just plug it in, make it go, nothing extra required. So there you go. Now, if you've got any comments, questions, usual place, doot, doot, doot. and I thank my Patreon supporters as always because no mid-roll ads in my videos, Patreon takes care of that. I don't have any mid-roll ads um, for your convenience and pleasure. That's it. Time for me now to get over to the whiteboard, which is just over there, and start cranking out these videos to teach you something. Thanks for watching guys. Bye for now.